This is a demonstration of using Quest V Workspace to seamlessly deliver Internet Explorer 6 from V Workspace enabled 2003 R2 terminal servers to the Windows 7 desktop. We, we've used V Workspace to tell my client device to redirect certain URLs to IE6 and then to redirect back to my client's IE8 browser when I browse to a site that was not specified to use IE6. With this seamless functionality, end users don't need to be trained on how to use the system as everything happens without them doing anything differently than they're used to. Most companies are actively migrating to Windows 7. A common issue is that some corporate applications don't work properly in Internet Explorer 8 or Internet Explorer 9, the native browsers in Windows 7, and only function properly in IE6. Since IE6 doesn't work on Windows 7, how can companies avoid stalling a Windows 7 migration to figure out how each of these IE6 apps work? why they don't work in IE8 or IE9, and what needs to be done to port them to Windows 7. This process could take a significant amount of time that will delay your migration to Windows 7. V Workspace is the answer. Quest and Microsoft have partnered to deliver a solution that is easy to implement, supported by Microsoft and Quest, and fully compliant with the Microsoft EULA. For more information, you can visit www.quest.com slash vworkspace or ask your Microsoft Request account executive for more details. So what we're seeing on the screen here is I've browsed to the, the Toyota website and we'll see that the website is very um, flash animated and lots of graphics. Now this site is actually coming from a 2003 R2 terminal server that's hosted in our data center in Redmond, Washington. My client device is actually in Detroit, Michigan. So this is going over the wide area network where the latency is approximately 100 milliseconds but we see that the end user response is the same as they would expect to see on their local internet browser. Now there is no application virtualization going on here. Um, we know that virtualizing the Internet Explorer browser is not compliant with the Microsoft EULA, so we've done this in such a way that everything that we're doing is compliant with the Microsoft EULA and supported by both Microsoft and Quest, so the end user can get very good end user experience. All the flash animation looks and acts the same way as it would as if they were working locally. Now what we'll find is that when I browse back to a website that wasn't programmed to use IE6 that it will seamlessly redirect back to my local IE8 instance without the end user doing anything differently. But we notice in this flash app I'm clicking around to just about every option I can find and it works the same way that it normally would. And we see here that I've got my local IE, uh, IE6 browser, or it looks local, but it's actually running on a remote terminal server. So here I'm going to browse to a website that was not programmed to use IE6, and we'll see that it switches back to my local IE8 browser. So we have a dual browser scenario where I have my local IE8 browser, and then I have my remote IE6 browser. But to the end user, it looks and acts the same way that they're used to. Now here we have the Quest V Workspace Management Console where I've set up the connection to IE6. It's very simple. Uh, we just set it up and tell it which users are allowed to use these settings. And then we specify on which servers the application is hosted. here we're using my local browser again but then if I go back to uh, Toyota.com it will then switch back to the IE6 instance again so very simple to use um, no training required for the end users and it will allow you to migrate to Windows 7 now instead of waiting for your apps to be remediated so thank you for attending this demonstration